want to talk about hugging, fam. <laughs> I want to talk about hugging. We're here. Lawrence! Um, Lawrence? Lawrence, man. Lawrence. No, nah, wait, because we've been avoiding. We have been avoiding talking I've about been this. avoiding. You've been avoiding. We've all been avoiding. Lawrence. Lawrence Akoli. The source. Come and sit here. Yeah. This is the, no, we have to talk to Lawrence. We do still. We have to because Lawrence are not like, we keep it real. I would say this is a place where you're going to get the real, you're not going to get the fabricated. Mm. And you know us, Lawrence. You know we, us. We go back away. Yeah. And I want you to understand this in a burger of this is in love, yeah? Big man, that was a mad night. That was absolutely crazy. Bro, bro. that night was insane. That night was a night where I... St- I stayed looking at like looking at the screen. I was spun. It was finished though. I was completely Bro, spun. I had the one of those it's, when it's finished mm. and I'm just looking at the screen. You're still saying, watching. You're still watching. I'm still watching and I'm watching the past because um. I'm thinking, what the hell did Lawrence do in there? Lawrence, Lawrence made me so angry. First of all, I was sad for him, yeah. Mm. Then when I saw the post and his brother, you know, there's in the in the Yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Charge it to the game thing next week. Charge we'll what, bro? Charge. You shouldn't be charging. Charge what? It. I was mad. Charge yeah. who? Yeah. This ain't a, this ain't a phone charge. What fam? <laughs> no, I need anger. I need. Remember when we talk about when AJ needs to grow his hair out and yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't yeah. want the laid back thing. This is beyond laid back. Charge it to the game. That's no, what, bro. And that's, that's why I weren't even too mad with AJ going crazy after the Usyk fight mm. because that's a that's a human moment of like, no, <laughs> what has happened? Do you know what I mean? Like it happens. I I didn't really like the hugging thing. It was too. It was too happy. It was too mm. relaxed. Do you know what I mean? And it was that thing as well. It's like watching it and thinking, bro, like, bro, you just lost today. Like, for me, I was completely got, like, someone turned me into a meme, fam. Like, I don't know if you see the what face did you make? Bro, the, the No, sh- you can do the face now, fam. No, you remember when he goes down and I'm like, <laughs> like, I was completely frozen, fam. Because remember, I've just gone, I think I went to the toilet and you come left. back. Yeah, yeah, I came back and I was just like, what do you mean he's on the floor? Brother, and you left and you came back into me just in shock. Just going I'm mad. looking at the thing getting mad and I'm like, I don't understand this because this is the first time I've seen Lawrence take a shot. And go down. And he went down and I was like, we don't do this. This isn't how this story goes. Usually it's just not exciting, the hugging thing. And, mm. the, and then we say, but it's effective though. And it's like, yeah, but, it, but today I'm like, oh, he's going down. Zero effect. Like, Zero effectiveness. Yeah, this it was weren't. this thing. Yeah, this night pissed me off. I think I'm just clear minded now, and I'm saying how I truly feel, bro. I was mad yeah. because I again, what you know, when you want more, I probably in a situation where I think I want more for you. Though, yeah, no, hundred percent. I want. Think about- I see you doing more than this, and this is not the way. When people call you the hugger, yeah, like the Marbling Huggler one is hilarious. I have to say, whoever made that, whoever up made that up is funny, a genius. Bro. Marvin Huggler is hilarious, but I don't want these claims on your name. I want I want to walk out and say, listen, you know about the source. Do mm. you know what he's doing? Do you know how he can take man out? Mm. And I can't now. I look stupid. If I now I'm bordering around delusion. No, I hear it. I remember, look, the Monday Night Smoke here, you tried to throw me under the bus, yeah? I did. You tried to throw me under the bus. We got a call you on the phone and you were like, Travis been saying this, Travis been... I'm like, yeah, 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 no, I have, I have. Because you know me, like, yeah. I had to let him know. I said, big man, I pick you in the React Paul fight. Mm. But if you fight him like how you fought my man on Saturday, it's going to end bad. He agreed. Fair, 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 fair. Yeah? We're coming to this one now. We're at this point and it's like, bro, it's looking very bad. It's a problem that needs to be fixed soon as well. Immediately. Yeah, no, no, soon. no. And this is, and you see, charge it, yeah? Don't charge this to the game. Don't charge this. This this thing that you wanted to charge, yeah, let this balance, let it bounce, let it um, decline, let it, what's it, default? Yeah. I want all of the you horrible feel, phrases. Feel the ugliness of this moment. I bro. need it because I want you to get in a space where you say, I'm never hugging again. You see, I don't even want, no, I don't even no, want you no, to no, hug your family. No, <laughs> no, I don't want it, bro. I don't want it. You see, if, if you see if the cousin comes in for the hug, nope. Move, man. You, I want you to turn the elbow. Turn. Like, just, yeah, keep that so instinctual. It's like, turn the elbow, dig. Like, let it be so routine. Yeah, yeah. No one comes in for a hug anymore. Bro, Nowhere. even Slip in church, back. even in church, when you got to go say, peace be with you and hug a brother. No. Nope. 
No. Actually, go to. Ch- I need you to be in hugging places. <laughs> and avoid where, all and the avoid hugs, bro. Bro, you know what I need. You remember how? You, and this is how I want you to start reacting as well. Yeah. Remember how? It's, uh, I don't know if there's. I can't remember exactly the fight or what. Yeah. One Don tried to clinch Tyson, and he just did this. Like it's like a pit bull. You know, you try yeah. when you see a pit bull, he's like locked onto yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, bro. It was all of that. He just went quick. That's how you got to be going on. Yeah, don't let yeah, no yeah. one hug you again. Where's fam? the huggable places? We need him to go there just to train, fam. Let's say church is high up there. Mom's house. Mom's yeah, house. The minute you've walked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. moment there, that show us that you've changed. You've changed. And just start that. Like, even when you see your brother and you want to give him the man them embrace, nope. Yeah, nah. Keep Slip. it long. So it's like, man comes in, grab the hand, keep ex- keep that arm where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, when, yeah. man, you don't even know, like, that they're coming from the hunt, you're just like, yeah, my dog. <laughs> keep that there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not, nah. Yeah, yeah. I want, bro. And it sounds Everybody funny. at Lake fam. Everyone at Lake. It doesn't matter how close bro even if you're in a solid relationship and you love that person keep that's it the long. person that you need to work with keep it long keeping it long with that person that's i you, know that's you want to have that's that your mantra for the rest of the until this rematch is taken care of keep it long yeah, yeah 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 and believe in bro the one thing i don't like the critique that i feel personally at the moment is like it felt like he didn't want to get hit that's the and thing. And I know, I know he's a brave guy. He's not. All right. He's, so he's brave. So let's, let's, let's get into it. So let's look at the the whole philosophy of not wanting to get hit, right? Because someone um, sent me a copy of the, a fight he had with this guy Savon. Mm-hmm. Um, let me. I think I've got it here. I think I can find it again. Oh, you but got a fight on your phone? Yeah. Damn. So basically, this is the fight that apparently you know might have left a scar on him. So it's against Erislandi Savon in round one and. Yeah goes in and they fight and I've got to say Akoli is fighting differently in this fight to start with right mm-hmm. and then guy catches uh, Akoli with a big shot bam goes down and the fight is like it's nip and tuck at certain points you can tell that the power has really upset him but he's still in it and he started to kind of work his way back into it gets hit with another shot bang end of the round he's down and he's in a bad way and a lot of people trace him back this hugging style and kind of protective kind of you know you know fearful of getting hit Back to this fight in that this moment. This is where they think he was born. That's the story arc of the hugging thing. You know what? Like, um, I want to say yes, but I want to say it's different. I think it's that we under we undervalued that trainer and your thingy relationship. No, but, but look where the mental scar could come from. That makes you have makes McGuigan have to do that job. But Shane, the scar tissue was covering up is what I'm saying. It was slowly, so yeah, it, it was, was slowly, getting better. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. were saying you, before, a statement that we made before was, we didn't like the way you said, yeah. you didn't like the way you fight, right? Mm. You, you, it's mm. like, I, I know I can see you do things somewhere else. And why is it not translating? He said, well, my trainer said this, but this is what me and Shane are directly working on now, right? So we've gone from directly working on something to being in a position where, Bro, like, how did... And the trainer knows this. Four years, they had their relationship. Mm. They've been together for so long. I know that. I know all of those moments, the ticks, the when in training, when we're working together. Yeah. I know when this moment comes. And what was clever about... Um, um, what's the guy you fought again? Oh, I was going to... Which one? Um, Bill and Smith. Bill and Smith. What was clever about Bill and Smith is he played to the referee. Oh, absolutely. As soon as the grapple came... He looks... Come on, ref. I'm just trying to box, mate. What's the, He gave him the... You know, you know when you, on football when there's a, a player who's known for dirty tackles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, go yeah, down yeah. on his challenges, referee's blowing that whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that one. He, I mean, look, if you're in Bill and Smith's, like, on his camp, you tell him to do that. No, but Billum... Because referees now are going to be looking at Akoli very differently. They're like, no, he's, I'm not... Le- he's a marked man. I'm not letting you hug at any point in this fight. Come on, Lawrence. Let's go. What bothered me in that fight was the warnings didn't change his game. Mm. I didn't like the fact he was not reacting to the fact that the referee is saying, I'm going to take a point. Takes a point. I'm going to take another point. He's looking at him like, Lawrence, what do you want me, what to, you want me do? to do? I'm going to end this thing. Brother. Still, still hard with the clinching thing. I said, nah, that's... That lets me know that either the hugging thing is so ingrained or he's incredibly fearful of getting hit. Now, there's certain fighters who, when they get hit, they go down and they've had to change their style. Vladimir Klitschko, he had to develop a different type of style on the Emmanuel Stewart to protect the fact that, yeah, he's a bit chinny and he does go down. Over time, we kind of forgot that he was chinny. Mm. To be fair, AJ reminded us again that, yo, this guy can actually go. But before that, he'd done such a great job covering it up you could have forgotten that that's what he was. So for me, I'm looking at Akoli now and I'm thinking, 
that now looks like it might be exposed because that left shot, that left hook that put him down in the thing. Yeah. That was a good shot, but it's not like it was a sustained attack. It wasn't. And you know what? For me, it's, my big issue is there's a lot to do now and it's the rematch, right? I know he's saying, look, I need this rematch now, but for he has to really, it's the mental because I can, um, I can assure you that's not what the trainer taught him. No, I agree. I can assure you that. I, well, to he be fair, uh, we actually even have it from from the horse's mouth, fam. So basically, Ben Whitaker trains with Sugar Hill. Yeah. So his dad commented on our thing. He said, in training, Sugar said he was absolutely brilliant stylistically, but for some reason, he just reverted back to tight when he was pressured. Hopefully, he could change the mindset in his return. And that does sound like that's what the case is. And I look at it and I'm thinking to myself, these are the demons. And this is why, right? The conversation now is more about what Akoli does and doesn't do in the ring mm -hmm. versus salute to Chris Billingsmith for a fantastic performance. Absolutely. Because I never left there thinking, right boy, end of an You're era. You're the new era. man. Yeah, new I era did, just yeah, started. Yeah, yeah. I left happy for Bill and Smith because he's a nice guy. Like, Absolutely. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I've got nothing, there's nothing you really can say about him as a person. He's a cool dude, low-key kind of character, but it was a great nap for him and I'm happy for him. But... The fact is, he's not past this Akoli. He hasn't. Just nah, yet. nah, nah. This and then, uh, again, we'll learn more because if Akoli again uh, keeps that distance in the next in the in the rematch, yeah. And now Billum will have a grounds to say, well, this is what I would have done. Now we can fight. Yeah, there exactly. you go. On the flip side, hopefully Akoli just gets it handled so we get the react pool fight. Mm -hmm. But I just want to move on as well. Um, I want to talk about AJ in a second, but they're in very interesting like tweet. Sorry, just before we just before we go there, yeah. What do you think about the Sugar Hill Akoli fit? I uh, it's too soon for to be honest, it's too soon to say because I actually believe that it's a because it's a mental issue. Yeah, he just has to get into his psyche. He has to understand him as a fighter and let him feel confidence. What Akoli is, is needing is confidence in in when it gets bad or something that happens that he doesn't like. He doesn't revert to type because that's a type situation. Mm. It, it's a habit. It's a bad habit of his where he feels like if something's going away or you know what this makes me this gets me into the fight i actually mm. feel confident from the contact that i'm having with you and he needs to say you know my confidence needs to come from other things it needs to come from landing like a, a stiff jab you know what i mean and then yeah. and not responding or la and keeping that distance that's what he needs to feel so i don't think this is this is not a trainer issue this is literally a, an Akoli mental issue, personally for me. And that's just me speaking as someone that doesn't truly know. It's just what I'm looking at. I respect that. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Come on, Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.